Okay, let's talk about array lists. So an array list in Java is a way of storing a bunch of things. So this is you, every program needs to store a bunch of things of a particular type, sometimes many things. And uh, so an array list is uh, what we call uh, a container. Uh, so it contains a bunch of stuff. And then actually, an array list, the array list class in Java implements the list interface. So if you go to the documentation here, the official documentation, you will find Java util list interface. And this interface has, uh, you can read it, you see down here, um, it tells you, uh, down here, sorry, it tells you all the classes that implement the list interface. And there's array list is one of them. You can also use a linked list, a row list, a stack, and vector. And they will all implement this interface, which consists of these methods. Basically, a list is a list, but a list of things. And I can add things to the list. I can add a bunch of things with add all. I can clear the list. I can see if the list contains stuff. I can see if the list uh, equals some other list. I can find the index of a particular object in the list. Uh, and so forth. So I'm going to cover some of these to show you how they're used. I can get the size of the list, uh, etc. So you use an array list, such as say array list. I'm going to go with an array list of string uh, list is a new array list, and uh, you see uh, IntelliJ already imported java util array list for me when i did that so now i have my new list of uh, strings um, used to be that you have to put in string in there uh, but that's not really needed anymore in java uh, so depending on what version of java you have that you might have to put string in there or not it doesn't matter and uh, you can also pass it an initial number which is the initial size of the list. Then I can, uh, first I'm gonna need to add things. So I'm gonna add some stuff and then I'm gonna add maybe a shirt and uh, add some uh, uh, socks, add some pants, the laundry list, if you didn't guess, and uh, shoes. Well, those don't really go in the laundry, do they? Uh, so there you go. So I have my list, and uh, I can now. Uh, that's not. I don't want it to print the list out. I'm gonna run this program here. Takes a little second. And uh, you see it prints out the list: shirt, socks, pants, and shoes. So I just added my shirt, socks, pants. You can see it prints them out. The list is ordered, right? So it prints them out in the ordered, in the order that I added them. If I had added, you know, shoes first, and I run that, it's gonna print out shoes, then shirt, socks, and pants, uh, like that. Uh, so that's how you add things to it and print them out. Uh, you can also, uh, once you have a list, you can get its size. Uh, that often comes in handy. Right? And uh, there you go. Also, uh, these things have indices. So I can set uh, a particular item. So uh, let's say I'm going to set item one uh, to be a skirt. Oh, well, I forgot to print it out print out my new list. So it's gonna print out the first list, then a size, then I'm gonna set item one to be a skirt. Uh, so item one, which used to be a shirt, remember, they started with zero, just like an raise. So shirt became a skirt uh, because of that line. So I can do that. Uh, now you might be wondering uh, well, what happens if I set item, you know, say 10, uh, to be a hat, and uh, I'm gonna try to print out that list. Yeah, that's what happens. So it doesn't like that. It's gonna give me an index out of bounds exception. So it's it's a little bit strange, right? 
because it, it just knows how big the list is. And if you try to insert something uh, that is bigger than the current size of the list, that is not going to work. Well, you're going to get this out of bound range check uh, exception. Uh, so just something to keep in mind. Um, and that's why you need to, you want to get use the size uh, to make sure that you get the right size. I noticed that, you know, I said initially five here, but you know, I don't even need that. So uh, well, let me get rid of this. I'm going to put this at, uh, what is that? Zero, one, two, three, this put it at four. I think that should work. So I don't have to specify uh, a size uh, three. Yeah, because I got to replace something. Uh, so I replaced the last one. Um, so, but yeah, I didn't specify the size and that works. And this is probably the way you should use it anyway, unless you actually know uh, how many you're going to be adding to the array list. Just leave it blank. Uh, okay, and the next, uh, you can also create array lists of uh, numbers and stuff. Uh, now, the thing is, you can't do this, right? So you can't use a primitive type like lowercase double, lowercase int, that kind of stuff. That is not going to work. Um, so it's already telling me that that's not going to work, but you can use the uppercase version of it. So, you know, there's an uppercase double, there's an uppercase integer. Uh, these are the boxed uh, versions of the primitives, and uh, so we can use those. I'm going to use a double, my double list. I'm going to call it D. Is a new array list, and then D dot add. I'm going to add something, uh, uh, but I can do this. So uh, because of Java's uh, now, auto boxing, uh, this will be fine. So Java is gonna, you know, automatically convert this 4.5 to a capital D double. Um, so even if I did double uh, number equals 5.6, D dot add number, that will also work because again of the automatic conversion uh, Java will automatic convert number to a little d double to a capital D double uh, so that works fine uh, some other things you can do with Liz you can remove stuff from it um, so uh, I'm gonna do let's see d dot remove and uh, you can see the documentation here not anymore. Uh, <laughs> let's look it up in the actual documentation. Remove, you can either do remove, pass it an index. We're looking at the list, but that works, right? I can remove, pass it the index of, that I want to remove, or pass an object, which is going to search for that object and then remove it. So this can get tricky here. So if I say d.remove1, uh, one, uh, it's going to remove not the number one, but the one of position one, right? Um, so I can run that. And I see, you see 4.5, which was at position one, zero, one, got removed. Um, so uh, if I try to do remove 4.5, um, I don't know, is that gonna work? Um, <laughs> sorry, uh, I wanna remove 4.5 and then print D. Uh, yep, so I removed the object at a, not because it realized that this is a double, so it upcased it to a capital D double uh, and uh, or boxed it and removed it from the list. So that works very nice. Um, okay, uh, one last thing is, uh, once you have a list, you want to iterate over it many times. So uh, I'm going to do that. Uh, I wonder if this is going to work. So I'm going to iterate over double of D um, um, number D. Yeah, that's not going to work. Double. Uh, 
yeah I got I'm already using that variable n double n so right yeah that's still running yeah okay so it works either way um and I'm gonna say number equals and run that so we remove that so we only have two but you see so this is a way of a uh, quick way using the, the for each uh, to iterate uh, over an uh, a list in this case an array list uh, so because this was a double uh, that works also this should work the same way you can use them interchangeably uh, so uh, there you go so this is how you would iterate over that list uh, and get everything. That's it.